Hi, this is Kevin with the latest EU COVID-19 weekly roundup. On Saturday, Brussels announced it would allow EU member states to take over 100% of the risk for emergency credits given to smaller companies. Many of the national development banks, such as Germany's KfW, had previously refused credits for high-risk companies because of the 10% risk they had to take. The EU has now allowed the governments to take on the whole risk for a credit up to a value of €800,000. In a guest article for the weekend paper Welt am Sonntag, Commission President von der Leyen has called on member states to invest billions into the bloc's budget, dubbing it a Marshall Plan for Europe. Looking ahead, this week will see focus on the post-corona era. On Tuesday, the Eurozone's finance ministers will discuss the economic response to COVID-19. On the agenda are four economic instruments. Last week's proposed short-time work scheme, the potential deployment of credit lines under the European Stability Mechanism, the proposal by the European Investment Bank to mobilize 200 billion euros in guaranteed loans for companies, and finally, the establishment of a COVID-19 emergency fund within which the French and Dutch proposals are up for discussion. On Wednesday, the European Commission is expected to publish a communication on the exit strategy, which sets out a coordinated approach culminating in the relaxation of current restrictive measures. The plea for another parliamentary session before the 13th of May has been heard, with an extraordinary session now planned for the 16th and 17th of April in Brussels. The meeting will again allow for remote voting on a resolution for EU coordinated action to fight COVID-19 and other legislative and budgetary proposals from the Commission. The Conference of Presidents has also made available extra space in the calendar for the remote meetings of EP governing bodies, committees and political groups. Have a nice week.